All right, I was going to work on uh, my uh, prospector today, but uh, something came up over the weekend. I sold a copy of my uh, Cowboy Serenade, and uh, I need to finish it up so I can take it to the foundry this week and uh, get it uh, started in production. So I'm going to put him aside. He's not really that important right now because I have no sales on him and uh, the hat can be fixed anytime. Time to play with some clay. For those of you who don't no, uh, last week I took this clay along with the Cowboy Serenade to the foundry in Livingston, Montana to get bids on them. And uh, this one fell over as I was bringing it back to uh, Anna. And uh, the uh, head of the gentleman banged against the uh, back sliding door of my van and uh, obliterated the uh, front <laughs> of his hat. So I've got to redo his hat in that part. Also, the pressure also broke the uh, seam of the uh, brim that I made. It's not a big deal, I can fix all that, that's no problem. So now I need to remove this uh, clay from the uh, sculpting stand and uh, bring my cowboy serenade back over to be worked on all right i'll be back when i get all set up uh, with the uh, cowboy serenade and uh, i'll get started on that all right the first thing i'm going to do is finish off the base i need to get this all filled in all the holes and make it so that they can make a uh, mold of it and i'm going to add some detail to the uh, base that hasn't been there yet, such as some rocks and things like that. So that's not going to increase the uh, cost of uh, casting it. It's just going to make it look better. All right, now I'm going to just take down the uh, texture just a little bit. I don't want it too sharp. And uh, this will be uh, the patina or the coloring on this uh, piece will be a rust patina. So that it has a kind of a terracotta look to the bronze. I like a uh, flat finish on a bronze because it shows the detail better than a shiny uh, bronzy looking look. All right, I'm just gonna add a few rocks to the base, but I gotta make these rocks castable. I don't want to have heavy-duty 
uh, undercuts. They've got to be done in such a way that it adds to the base, but it doesn't make it impossible to pull a mold off of. I'm not going to do a lot of rocks, just enough to make it interesting. The way I'm going to fill this in, in the back, and make it look like it's not filled in, is by inserting clay into the back of the uh, ponytail, and uh, having the ponytail be a little wider. That takes care of that uh, little deep undercut of a ribbon. Okay. Just filling in the undercut of her back of her bon ponytail here as best I can. All right, I'm going to use a little Ronsonol to uh, smooth out some of the rough areas on the clay, such as working on the uh, base here. And I'm just going to hit the uh, hair a little bit, too. Your tool marks tend to leave little scratches in the uh, clay, and if you don't want the scratch there, uh, this uh, Ronsonol takes it right out. All right, I'm going to call it quits for today, and I'll come back and work on this tomorrow. I've got uh, her dress to finish up. Uh, I got his ear to uh, tighten up just a little bit, and uh, some things I got to fill in where it cracked when I moved his arm. But... Uh, and then I've got her dress to finish down here. But other than that, it's uh, pretty much done. And uh, it's just little tiny things that I've got to do now to uh, make it look better. All right, everybody, have a great night. And I'll see you tomorrow. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.